Voil. <laughs> like, okay. It's a goofy sound. Yeah. Voil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my <laughs> he goes, God. He, like, you... <laughs> like when he gets hit in Kingdom Hearts, or, or he does a hit in Kingdom Hearts, I think. Yeah, I don't, I don't fucking know. I think Please end that franchise so I can stop worrying about it. No. Wouldn't that be nice? If we ended, no. Well, I think it would be. I mean, for my own sanity. At, at this point. Yeah. At this point, it would just be kind of great. Right. Right. Also, hello everyone. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Yeah? No. What? You gotta cut out the first 30 seconds. What? Those were unsolicited, <laughs> those were unapproved, solicited, bad, goofy noises. <laughs> you can't do this to me. Oh, I didn't have to. You're so rude. You did it to yourself. You're so rude. Look, I just clicked the button and you was, immediately made that noise. I was on Twitter. You can't do this to me. <laughs> I'll be ruined. My my sparkling flawless image. Oh my you can't, god. You can't do this to me. <laughs> I really can. And in fact, it already happened. Oh. Uh, the chariot is literally just a large um, metal met metallic. Metallic. Me no, there's two L's. Look. Yeah, that's metallic. Metallic. Yeah. You have to do the L sound twice. No, you do it once, just long. Metallic. Metallic. Mm. You know, it's kind of like <laughs> Greg. What? If you remember, like the. H H Greg, oh the 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 store. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> Greg. I mean, but it's got periods. You don't have to. It's it's different. No, no, it's <laughs> Greg. <laughs> Greg. <laughs> let's go. Let's go get a washing machine at <laughs> <laughs> Greg. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> That's so dumb. No, it's fantastic. What do you want, Cat? He wants to hang you out. You want up on this? Ash, bitch! Stop sniffing bitch. that in your book. Is this what you want? Is this... Ash, you get up here. Ash. How did you never train him to respond to like? He just doesn't. Sometimes he responds to when you make the money uh, gesture to, at him, but he's been really keen on laying on face bag. <laughs> Fine. Uh, metallic courage. Josh. You can read, despite popular, like, opinion. <laughs> it's something you know how to do. You know what these words are. You can't prove are. anything. You know what these words are. It has, um, benches inside with an open top. There are no horses, of course, and it seems to move on its own. Do you think they have horses in this world? Uh, hmm. Hmm. That's a good question. Right? And are they, like animal horses or people horses <laughs> well no because this you is... have horse horses or horse people because this is a world full of wolves so yeah i guess naturally they wouldn't have horse citizens unless they were visiting from other planets yeah but like you know because they have birds yeah they do but are there bird people like on other planets maybe on another planet it's a little sus maybe that's sus it's a little interesting. Well, is it just... Is it the creatures they haven't uplifted? Like, if they were to uplift the birds on this planet... And maybe they could talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. They do... The wolves do not uplift their children. No. We, we know this, because, you know... Hmm. Hmm. It's... Um... Something to think about. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> this is the first time that I've ever seen wheels being used for transportation here, though. Uh, as, um, as we're, um, walking up to it, I notice Virginia and Nefidu already sitting in the front, and Cassius is in the back with Alex. Uh, he's very, um, deliberately looking away from us. Mm hmm I whisper to Amicus as we get closer to the chariot. Cassius is going. Yes, I think Kato made him go. Despite everything, the, um... The white wolf has done, especially in the trial. I can't help but feel a little sorry for him. 
I can't imagine having to go out in public right after your year-long campaigning campaign was defeated. Uh, Amicus hops in first, sitting next to Virginia, before um, reaching down to pull me beside, uh, pull me up next to him. I'd um, thought we'd be flying there. We usually do, but since the ships we used to take to the city uh, crashed a few months ago, we decided the chariot is safer for more and more inconspicuous. Yes, uh, something that will come in handy considering the state of the city right now. Yes. What's the state of the city? <laughs> Virginia fixes her eyes on me, um, really looking at me for the first time in a while. Uh, riots, looting, the usual. Uh, though a bit unusual for a Dastra city compared to, say, Lux. Uh, Amicus glances at me, but that's um, that's when there's a, sitch, a sudden um, jerk at the uh, chariot moving forward uh, toward the uh, tree line. Virginia looks to Amicus. I must say, your pet is much more fascinating than I'd originally thought. He could barely speak when I first met him. Um, yes, he was shy. I guess I could have told Amicus that my um, act had been exposed at this point. Well, we must um reconnect with the simian then. They seem oddly intelligent. <laughs> mm. Oh, yes. Oh, thank the gods for the trees. Vita is much too harsh today. Amicus clearly um tries to change the subject as the um road turns into the thick forest. Oh, look at this new well, yeah, look look at this new this, one. Look it's at this a, happy place. It's a little old forest, huh? Wasn't it neat? Look at that. Yeah. Um, we're um bl blanketed in an eerie green glow as the forest envelops us. A strange, um, glowing insects uh, fly around our carriage, and I notice how ancient the trees look, uh, narrowly gnarled and rough, mm -hmm. almost completely um, um, blocking out the sky. Hopefully they'll allow us to, refre uh, to freshen up a bit before the ceremony. I'll be a mess by the time we reach the city. Virginia whips her um whips out her um large embroidered fan again, uh, waving it um frantically in her face. Is this ambient insect noises or? I think so. Okay. For you know, generic forest noises. You know. Okay. Okay. The freaking. I was just wondering why it looks so low on the levels. Right. It's just leaves falling and you know, <laughs> the trees uh the trees twerking. Yeah. You know, ambient forest noises. <laughs> I kind of wish I had one too. My um skin almost um immediately sticking to the, uh, sticking sticky in the um humid air. You will look fine. Besides, we'll all be in the same state. Amicus glances over at the jackal. I have to wonder what brought what brought you along, Nefudu. Boredom. My presence was requested. By whom? Oh, for the sake of Vita, don't start, Amicus. What? I'm simply curious. No, you're trying to start a fight. Which is the last thing we need from <clears throat> in front of the Triumvirates? <laughs> Besides, isn't your policy to befriend Chemians? An alliance isn't a friendship. Chemians see it as friendship. Besides, everyone probably thinks you've already, um, you're already very, uh, close after, uh, what was broadcasted. <laughs> Virginia! She hides her smirk behind a f behind her fan, and Nefidu, um, grins beside her. I'm simply reminding you that it might still be fresh in everyone's mind when we get there. And Amicus, um, uh, slaps in. Yeah, slumps in his seat, a leg stretched out in front of him. All the more reason to seem distant. That will probably affect my reputation for years. Oh, don't be so dramatic. The people love such scandals. They simply pretend to be outraged. <laughs> Imka snorts, um, but um, doesn't say anything more, signaling that the um, conversation is over. I wonder if Cassius sitting right next to us is listening in. Probably. I find the whole thing strange. The wolf that tries to sabotage Amicus by um, uh, leaking what was basically a porno uh, sitting right beside us. 
I turn my head ever so slightly, trying to look back at Cassius to see if he's looking at us. I don't see anything, so I turn around more fully and find that the um, white wolf is laying down, eyes closed, his head in Alex's lap. Alex looks up at me and smiles with a wave. I wave back awkwardly before I'm quickly uh, turning around. Virginia and Nefidu seem to be um, caught up in their own conversation at the moment, while Amicus continues to sulk, staring at his feet. So, what exactly is going to happen when we get there? Hmm? Oh, well, the meeting with the Triumvirates, as I said earlier. After that, we'll likely get to walk the streets of, of the district to visit the shops and a restaurant. So, I'll just stand next to you? Yes. All right. For the rest of the ride, I lean against Amicus' side, and after several minutes, I start to nod. Amicus um, notices and wraps an arm around me, and I'm able to um, comfortably lean against his chest to fall asleep. And we go to sleep. Yeah, well, you know, it's going to be a long crotch ride. We're in the city. Yeah. The friendly Anadastra City. Yeah. We got to see far off and away. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Distance. Look at these street lamps. It's such an interesting mix of, like, architecture, I guess. Like, you've got the the, co the Roman pillars, the Roman columns, but then also, like, those, like, weird corner buildings like you have in New York. <laughs> it's fine. No, I think it's kind of neat. Yeah. Yeah. And with these kind of handles. <laughs> I think, you know, just, just the old knocking handles. You pull them on them and they open the door. Eh, it is what it is. <laughs> the next thing I know, I'm being um, nudged awake by Amicus. I find myself staring at several buildings, and the sudden change in scenery leaving me dazed. I'm still trying to get my bearings as Amicus hops out of the carriage, reaching up to lift me down. When I look back up, I'm able to see a large group of wolves off to the side, watching us intently. Immediately, I feel um, self-conscious, the crowd being the largest gathering of wolves that I've seen in person. They come in all shapes and sizes, and I'm surprised to see a few of them uh, that are almost as short as I am. The one characteristic that all of them share is their um, thick-bodied stat stature. Amicus guides me around to stand in front of uh, the chariot with Nefidu. Uh, Virginia, Cassius, and Alex Shut up. Uh, holding me close to his side. Die. <laughs> Perish. Hainer. Pence. Pence. Oh. Omelet! Uh, one of the um, old wolves uh, stepped forward from the group. Uh, welcome, Imperial family! Uh, thank you so much for coming out, coming on this day, on the second trial. Uh, it was a marvelous show. Do we get to see any other portraits of people? I don't know. Uh, that seems like a um, bold thing to say after a clip of Nefidu and Amicus having sex was shown. That doesn't seem to, um, there doesn't seem to be any awkwardness, though. The old wolves looking eager to talk to Amicus. I am C... Cicero. Cicero. You know, the guy from, um, Skyrim. The clown man that you like. You played Skyrim. Did I play? You played the Dark Brotherhood storyline. Did I? Yeah. With Cicero, the... It's Cicero. He's the gesture man. Oh, you loved him. I think I, I think I loved is a strong word. <laughs> <laughs> you liked him more than most of the other characters in that game, which is reasonable. But no, it's Cicero. That's how you say that name. Cicero. Cicero. Think of the Hotel Cicero from Chicago. Little Caesar's Pizza. The first um, triumvirate of Ad Ross. I am Rote. Little Caesar. <laughs> I want there to be a triumvirate that's just named Little Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Uh, the old wolf walks forward towards Amicus, uh, setting his paw on the bigger wolf's shoulder and touches the sides of their muzzles together. Out of the corner of my eye, I notice Cassius shooting us a sour, angry look. The wolf and Amicus hold a short conversation, the older wolf asking Amicus what he thought of Ad Rota. Rote? Rotea. I think so. Rotea. Rotea. Tea a um, problem the uh, city was currently having, and how they might um, proceed in the future. After that, um, he, he, um, he, he, then he moves. Hmm. Yeah. Right. After that, he, then he moves. I think it's just an incorrect use of the word he. 
after that, he, I'm sure, I, how is this supposed to be? Written? I think this was the after that, then he moves, or he then, no, after that, he then moves on. He, the, okay. The he is, there's only supposed to be one he. <laughs> after that, he then moves on. Okay, to Virginia, where the conversation is much shorter naturally another wolf from um, from the um group moves forward to talk to amicus the conversation flowing a um flowing a roughly similar pattern there's no talk about um amicus being emperor and the assumption is there and when each of of them get to cassius it's almost as equally brief as it was, as it was with virginia fuck it uh, despite the novelty of the situation, I quickly become bored of the um, conversation, uh, blend together with very quickly, very quickly as over a dozen of these old wolves come forward to introduce themselves to Amicus. Uh, for this part, Amicus does a really good job of seeing um, off, off, enthusiastic, uh, enthus enthusiastic, correct, and day, sometimes hard. <laughs> Uh, for each introduction, um, men mentioning uh -huh. that he um, already um, knows who they are and what, and that he thinks very, very highly of their city and, and region. Occasionally, they'll glance at me and comment on how strange I look, though it's um, usually with a um, positive tone, congratulating Amicus on uh, snagging me. Uh, that does seem to make Amicus uncomfortable, but I keep a straight face and bow each time, seeming to, seeming to delight the old wolves with my etiquette. Eventually, these introductions end, but as we um, start to move towards the shops, the triumvirates continue to follow us, and I find myself having a hard time keeping up with Amicus. He's practically surrounded by the triumvirates. I, um, I give us... I give up on trying to stay with next to him, and even though he keeps on glancing at me and calls to me a few times, I just wave him off, choosing instead to walk alongside Nefidu in Virginia. Hell yeah. Right? Sure, I'm annoy it's annoying, uh, but he's um, about to become emperor, so it makes sense that he's so popular. As we walk through the streets, uh, wolves call out to Amicus from doorways and windows, and he tries to wave at all of them. Further up the road, a group of children, puppies, uh, show up with flowers in their paws, uh, handing them out to Amicus and the Triumvirates. As I watch this happening, I notice a particularly patchy-looking child, no taller than my waist, standing off to the side awkwardly, looking right at me as she holds a flower uh, in her paws. I pause, unsure if she uh, means to give me one. When I, d uh, when I do, she moves closer. Uh, so I bend over, reaching out, and her eyes widen, probably um, simultaneously horrified and fascinated at getting the crazy alien's attention. Nevertheless, she comes um, closer and shyly pushes the crumpled, wilted flower into my hands before suddenly leaning in and touching the um, side of uh, of her face to mine. Aww. For a moment, I, uh, I see her watery, bloodshot eyes, and I uh, seem to... And I feel the um, slight uh, damp fur brush again, um, brush my skin before she makes an old uh, yelping sound and runs off down the street. I stare after her, wondering if I had uh, done something wrong. Found yourself a gift? I look down at the white flower, noticing that several petals are missing. I guess. That one didn't look healthy, did she? Not really. Maybe Cassius has a point with this speech. I think they both made good points, honestly. Nefidu, um gestures at the um, waggle of wolves moving. Gaggle, not waggle. Gaggle. A, wa a waggle of wolves. A waggle of wolves. That sounds cute, though. <laughs> Look at us, a waggle of wolves. Sounds like a band name. Wa waggle of wolves. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, moving further and further away from us. Better catch up before they leave us behind. Yeah. I look down at the flower again, a bit uneasy now, before um, dropping it to the road, feeling a little guilty as I do. Dang, bro. Why'd you just hold on to it? Put it in your ear. He has no pockets. Stay it up in his ear. He doesn't have ears. He's a human. Yes, he does. Humans don't have ears. Josh, you have ears. I'm a bird. Birds have, like, holes in the side of their head. Yeah, exactly. Like, those are ears. I can't pin a flower there. Should be can. 
<laughs> pin it up on your on your little head. <laughs> bing, bing. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Uh, even though the ceremony is technically over, the triumvirates don't uh, seem to want to leave Amicus alone. I'm kind of... Wait, I'm kind of amazed at how well Amicus is dealing with them, considering how irritated I'm feeling. Amicus tries to um, bring me over to his side a few times, pointing out um, trinkets and souvenirs that he tried to explain, as if wanting to show me a bit of a Dastrian culture. It's nice, and I can tell he wants to involve me, but it's far too busy with um, triumvirates and locals uh, breaking in every five seconds to ask a ask or um, tell Amicus something. I um I wish he could uh, just uh, tell them to go away, but I uh, but I know it doesn't work that way. Uh, not uh, on top of this, my joints are really starting to ache from all the walking, and I wonder if um, living in the palace. Uh, for so long has made me soft. Freaking old ass man. Right. Eventually, I just tra uh, trail the group of um, wolves, browsing the um, goods after they do. It's interesting, sure, but everything's so similar to what we have on Earth. Necklaces, earwings, earrings, brushes, clothes, nothing uh, all that mind-blowing. Uh, eventually, Amicus very loudly calls out that he'd like to go to a restaurant with his pet, if everyone could please allow him through. I take this as my cue to move to his side, and he legit and immediately um, puts a um, arm around mine, um, holding me close. As um, we walk up the street, the many wolves still following behind us, Amicus puts his muzzle close to my ear, sending a bit of a chill down my neck, uh, one that's oddly painful. Everything okay, Marco? You seem a bit... uncomfortable. I shrug. Everything around here is new to me, so I guess I do feel a little off. Well, let's settle down in a restaurant. We can cool off and catch our breath there. The wolf gives me a quick squeeze with his arm, and despite my, um, uh, slightly sour mood, I can't help uh, but smile a bit. Man, you know what Marco should do? Marco should invent something from Earth for this world that would blow everyone's fucking mind make a pizza yeah be like be like uh be, be like, like Anne. yeah be like Anne and make a pizza in this world world of creatures that don't know what pizza is <laughs> oh what was what was the name that um oh i've forgotten everyone's names from amphibia sprig no the other one polly the, no the good one hot pop Hot pop. <laughs> no, the good one. Oh my god. I mean, you're right, though. Hot but... pop's the best of the three. You're not telling me. I'm, like, wrong with that. Hot pop's the best. He kind of is the best, though. But I love that scene. Was that in the in that episode? It was one of the cooking episodes uh -huh. where he's like, but, um... Aunt, oh yeah, grandma Girl whatever said, uh, told us <laughs> that tradition means everything what would it, she say about this and it shows cuts the, the yeah. thing of just like tradition and means everything she'd say to move on <laughs> she'd say to move on <laughs> i love amphibia so much i i haven't watched season three yet i, I never finished season I two actually no, same I, i'm i'm like four episodes away from finishing season right two. right I, I keep hearing about true color and i'm like yeah. i assume true color is just gonna prove like prove to the world that sasha is best girl and did nothing wrong well things get as a season one did from 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 what i've seen of like just images and like i don't know any like plot spoilers or anything yeah, yeah. but from the spoiler images i've seen shit is crazy that show got crazy immediately. It really though. did. That show goes off the rails. Like the intrigue is kind of fun. Yeah, oh, yeah. Have you watched um the rest of the Owl House season? I have not. Cuz uh, they finally put They put part B, right? Mhm. Mm okay. They finally threw it up on Disney Plus so you can yeah, probably Yeah, I just haven't. Probably find links online somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. <laughs> so but, I yeah. mean, I would totally go to Disney Plus and watch the Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> no, I I haven't sat and watched them either. It's yet. It's fine. Mm -hmm. I still enjoy it. Everyone, you should watch Amphibia. I know you all watch Owl House. So you should watch like, Amphibia. Watch Amphibia. It's so good. It's really it's good. It's so good. Like, I feel bad because I just love Anne so much more than She's Luce. so good. Plus, 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 plus in season three, we 
get to see her mom. Well, like in you get to spend more time yeah, with, her, with mom. her mom. We just got flashbacks before. Yeah, and well, so how much of season two did you watch? Like, what do you remember the episode with the uh, doppelganger? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got the like that was a good with her mom. That yeah. whole Jesus that that yeah, part. Yeah. That was rough. <laughs> well, well, you had, like, season two's rough, right? Season two is... You have the... Oh, what was it? The stupid, like, teacup episode where they, like, they do yeah. the chariot for, thing for, for the, the cup. Yeah. And you're just like, oh, okay. And you have the stupid last scene of the episode in which you're like, why is this in a filler episode? Like, how dare you? How dare you? I miss my mom. <laughs> well, it's cool that you get to miss your mom. It's basically what Spring <laughs> says. I don't remember her. Oh my god. Jesus yeah. Christ. I mean, it's kind of cool that my um, friend is so popular, even if it's because he's going to be the next emperor. That'll make someone kind of popular, huh? Yeah. We walk into a small, cozy restaurant, and I can tell right away that it's rather upscale with its curved pillars and the fancy tra- tra- ta- ta- tapestries yeah. on the wall. Mm-hmm. Uh, then again, everything in the district is kind of upscale, I guess. Bougie. The triumvirates follow us right into the uh, restaurant, though, and I let out a frustrated sigh. Amicus notices right away and signals at a wolf standing behind a podium. His uh, This particular wolf is staring at us wide-eyed, apparently gobsmacked uh, at uh, seeing the soon-to-be emperor uh, showing up in his restaurant. He practically trips over himself to get to us, um, banging his um, hip on the uh, side of the table as he does. Y- yes, your um, uh, Majesty. Amicus grimaces. Just Amicus, please. Could you get us a secluded table, preferably with no one seated next to us? Oh, of course. The wolf um stumbles over himself again before leading us to the corner of the restaurant, gesturing at a table there. He then turns to um a couple next to the table and begins to frantically um hiss at them to move. <laughs> He says, shoo, shoo, shoo. Uh, they uh, stare at him in astonishment until Amicus steps in to stop him. They're fine. Just to, don't let any of that group over there sit next to us, if that's all right. Amicus jerks his head over uh, to the waggle of old wolves. <laughs> uh, all of them uh, staring at us rather um, hawkishly. Yeah. Hawkmanishly. Yeah. Oh, yes, of course. He hurried off towards a uh, said group, and we finally were able to sit down, or lay down. And the seats are, um, of course, in Roman style. Amicus settles down with a huge sigh, stretching his um, big body over the bed. Oh, look at this. We're in a little, we're in a little restaurant. I like the lighting a lot in this scene. Yeah, in the CG. yeah. So we'll um we'll stop here. Okay. You know, scene. This is thing. really cute, isn't this? I dig it. Look at the look at that guy in the back. I like this guy. He's vibing. <laughs> He's like, oh, you know, what was? He's like, who the hell is this? And Amicus fuck? looks like a fluffy boy. He does look pretty fluffy, like, huh? He's he's good. I just he's really good. like the lighting a lot. Oh, this is really good. I think this was my favorite CG of the ones that I saw. So it's very good. It is, it is what it is. Oh, look at the tired, uh, look at the look tired at host in the back. Look at him. Oh, look at his, his little, his little mustache, his little eyebrows. Mustache. He's really cute. <clears throat> but all right, well, <laughs> we'll see you around, everyone. <laughs>